Hmm. Looks like the eggplants are cheap today. My name is Kent Honda. I'm just an ordinary second year high school student who's living a particularly boring daily life. <laughs> what is it, Aoi? I think we should make an eggplant stir-fry with minced meat today. This is Aoi, my cute little sister. She's turning one soon. As you can see, she's so cute that I'm sure she was blessed by some divine being. First things first, I need to prepare Aoi's meal. I can only pray that she'll love it. I'm still a high school student, but I'm taking care of my sister since our parents died a year ago. They got involved in a traffic accident. It was a miracle that Aoi, who was a newborn baby at the time, survived. I have no relatives to rely on, but the life insurance my parents had helps us to pay for our living expenses. But I can't be sure that I'll be able to look after Aoi perfectly until she's an adult. I think I should cook my meal now. Yes, I'm coming. I wonder who it is. Who is... I'm sorry I disturbed you dinner time. By the way, my name is Mary Terura. I just moved next door. Whoa, what a pretty girl. Um, welcome to the neighborhood. I came here to greet you. Anyway, this is a famous snack from my hometown. I hope you like it. Thank you, that is very kind of you, miss. Oh, looks like you're the same age as me. I'm in my second year of high school. What? You're a high school student, but you live alone in this apartment? Well, it's complicated. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have asked such a silly question. I understand that people have their own circumstances. Please, forgive me for being rude. Never mind, it's not your fault, so you don't need to apologize. It's just that I'm in a complicated situation. Th thank you. I won't ever ask about it again. She's living next door though, so sooner or later she'll find out the truth. When I'm sick, I might trouble her, so I think I should just tell her everything. Actually, I'm living together with my sister. She's turning one year old. I see. What about your parents? They died, so I'm taking care of my sister by myself. So maybe sometimes we might trouble you. Oh dear, that's so sad. It must be tough since you're only a high school student. <laughs> Please don't cry. Who wouldn't cry in this situation? I'm overwhelmed by how much you love your sister. Looks like she's a person who's honest with her feelings. Okay then, let me support both of you. What do you mean? I I'm sorry for being too straightforward. It's just because I came from a rural area for supporting each other is common. I see. Now I understand why she was being so nervous. Thank you. I hope me and my sister won't be too much trouble to you. Leave it to me. Where's your sister then? Here she is. Well, she's sleeping anyway. Oh my god. I can't believe how cute she is. Is she some sort of angel? But Mary, is something wrong? Oh, oh, sorry. I got too excited since your little sister is super cute. No worries. Where are you from? I'm from a small town in Wakayama. So please excuse me if I speak in a strange dialect. I see. I don't mind if you do, though. R really? Sure, you can teach me too if you want to. Thus, I became friends with Mary and we got along well. Then, a month after that... Hey, Kent! Where's your sister? Someone is taking care of her for me. What a shame. I wanted to see her cute face. Too bad. She hates you anyway. Oh, shut up. Until now, I've been taking Aoi to school with me. But since she gets along well with Mary now, I don't have to do that anymore. Mary is 20 years old, and she's working as an animator. Since she's been receiving a steady stream of work from her clients, she decided to move into her current apartment. She said that it was hard for her to attend otaku events when she was living in the countryside. I have to say that Albie is a very good girl. Other toddlers in the neighborhood are crying like crazy day and night. But look at how calm she is. My school allows me to bring my sister along, but it's difficult to take care of her during PE class and the like. So it's a great help for me that Mary is willing to take care of her during the day. Anyway, I really admire how independent Kent is. He's only a high school student, but he's doing his best to take care of his little sister without asking for help from anyone. Oh, I got a good idea. Oof, I'm home. Welcome home, Kent. Oh, Mary. I didn't know you were here. 
Well, I was thinking of cooking dinner for you, so here I am. Seriously? I thought you'd want to eat someone else's homemade dinner for once. If you don't want to, I can just eat all of it myself. Please let me have it. Awesome! I didn't expect that Mary would serve me homemade dinner. I feel nervous though since I don't know what she'll make. Mary's the sort of person who follows the latest trends, so maybe she'll cook something exotic. Here you go! Boiled spinach, steamed fish, and seasoned rice! Wow, what a healthy choice for dinner! Thanks! My granny taught me how to cook Japanese food. I didn't expect her to cook me Japanese food, but to be honest, it looks very delicious. By the way, you need to wash your hands first before you start eating. I'll get Aoi to join us. Got it, thank you! I really appreciate her kindness. People around me have been helping me too all the time, but... I've never had someone who's so close to me like her. Gosh, I need to stop myself from crying in front of her. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kent. Uh, oh my god, what happened? You didn't like the food? No, it's not like that. It was so delicious, I was moved to tears. Silly, right? Really? Glad to hear that. You should have some more. Oh, about how much I owe. What? You don't have to do that. I'm not going to take money from someone who's younger than me and still a student. For your information, I have a decent income. That's awesome! But I'm just too childish for a 20-year-old woman. I'm still not the ideal adult I've been dreaming of since I was little. I think she's been through hard times too. B but to me, you're a great adult. Most people at your age are still college students, but you're working and making a living. Thanks! You really are a nice person, Kent. Ah! Oh, sorry to wake you up, dear. Don't worry about that. It's about time for her to eat anyway. I see. You should eat as much as you can and grow big. Ah! I can't believe that Aoi, who's not good at dealing with new people, gets along well with Mary. I'm sure she really is a nice woman. By the way, my parents sent me some fresh vegetables from home. So you can have some if you want to. Are you sure about that? Yes, I can eat all of them. Well, then I'll take some. After that, I let my sister sleep before heading to Mary's room. Come in and make yourself at home. Thank you for inviting me. She's living next door, but somehow I feel as if I were visiting a different dimension. Honestly speaking, I'm quite nervous. My parents are farmers, so we never run out of fresh vegetables every month. Good to hear. Let me see. Wow, you have eggplants too? Well, yes. Feel free to take as much as you want. Sure, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Mary is definitely a generous person. I need to show her my appreciation. Uh, I don't think I should be feeling nervous in front of a high school student. One day, something unexpected happened. Good morning! Who on earth is that guy? I don't think he lives here. S sorry that you need to prepare our meals every single day. No worries, I love cooking anyway. I'm glad that we're not troubling you. Anyway, I'm happy when you're here with us. Oh? What was that voice? N nothing. By the way, what you said to me before, do you say that to everyone? No, you're the only person I get along well with. Oh, really? Can I trust you? Of course you can. Are you doubting me? No, I'm not. By the way, I saw someone hanging around outside who I'd never seen before. Really? I don't go out often, so I didn't realize there was a newcomer. Yes, but I think he's shifty somehow. Can't. I don't think you should treat every stranger with suspicion. You're right. Sorry about that. Well then, I need to go back to my room. Sure, thanks for your help, as usual. My pleasure. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Mary, what happened? The front door! There's tons of photos of me! What? You didn't notice when these pictures were taken, did you? N no I was just shopping for groceries as usual. I think the person who took these knows your daily schedule. Are you telling me that this person is a stalker? Then why did they scatter my pictures here? I have no idea, but maybe it's some sort of warning. Maybe the stalker thinks I'm getting in his way. k, -K kent Where are you going? You should hide in my room. I can't just let this happen. 
Mary and Ollie are in danger. I wonder where he is. He can't be that far. There. Hey, wait! Ugh. What do you want, Brett? Get out of my way! Darn it. He's stronger than I thought. I don't think I can handle him alone. Somebody! Please help! Mary, why are you here? I called the police. Besides, I can't just let you handle everything by yourself. How dare you! Wait, don't run away! No kidding! You're under arrest! Are you alright, young man? I was patrolling around here when I heard some screaming. Y yes, I'm fine. Thank you, sir. I might need some extra information from you, so can I have your phone number? Sh sure thing. M Mary, I was just. Sally Kent, what were you thinking? You can't just go and chase a stalker like that. If he had a weapon, you could have been injured. I I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have done such a reckless thing. You're like family to me, Kent. That's why I don't want you to do anything dangerous. Promise me that you won't ever do that again. Yes, I promise I won't make you worry again. Thank you for your help anyway. You're safe now, so never mind. Did you just say that I'm like family to you? Oh, did I get ahead of myself? Not at all. I was happy to hear it. I was thinking that when I become an adult, I'll confess my love to you and ask you to be part of the family. What? Are you thinking of asking for my hand in marriage? I know that you only see me as some sort of younger brother now, but I'll do my best to become a decent adult man. Uh, I see. I'll wait for you then. Thanks. Three years have passed after that day. Big girl, get up. Go to work. Oh, morning, Aoi. After that soccer incident, both me and Mary decided to move out. We've been living a peaceful life together ever since. I graduated from high school and now I'm a university student. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Mary. I'm now living in a new apartment. You're so cute, Kent. S stop it, Mary. I always looking. I can't help myself since I love you so much. This new apartment is where I live with Aoi and Mary happily. Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!